Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we designed the form. Okay, so here I have accidentally one, I have created one uh, column which is the amount. I have get rid of this line. So here, how to remove the column? Here, just go and click on that column and click delete. That's how I remove that amount. Amount is not I have assigned it here. So here, first, what you are going to do is here, we have to design like this. So here, we have to another one. We have to do it here. Uh, we have to. Right. Now here I am going to add it here as the label which is a doc type. Right, doc ID. Select this doc ID properties. Click on this bold 18 characters. Right. Now here I, I want to drag one text field. This text field I am going to 18 along with bold. Right. Select this one, right click edit text, get rid of this uh, text is inside here, right? TXT doctor ID. Out of here, we have one button. We need a one button which is a search. Right. Click on this search button. Right click properties. Click on this. Bold 14 characters. Click OK. Right. Now I need to combo box. Uh, I need to radio buttons in order to do the things here. Click on this. Yeah, first we have a radio button this one you have to make it as pending pending appointment right pending appointment another one is a complete appointment same thing control c copy control v to paste here this one you have to call it as complete appointment completed we have two options right so select both right click properties we have to make a font little bit bigger at 14 right it would be fine 14 I need a board as well perfect right it's a perfect right you can see it you can check it whether it's complete appointment is completed or open right you have to set like this right uh, what is it what is the doctor ID you are selected here entered here and click on search button the, uh, the according to the uh, uh, doctor ID you are entered here the record will be displayed below right after that you have to enter you will be able to uh, filter the record you will be able to enter the doctor ID and select the option which is a bending or complete. So we will be able to uh, search the record by by the selected uh, rec uh, selected the option bending or complete. Right? You can check it. Right? So here, what you are going to double click the search button. So I want to first paste this code. Right? I already written. Don't worry, I'll be explain it. Right? If I return and explain, don't worry. We have to explain it. It take too much of complete complete the project right that's why i have written like this here this is a code i just copied paste it above here right sorry not here we have a problem right we have created this create we have to paste it not a button not but this button we have to paste it above here copy it we have to paste it here right okay now what you are going to do is your doctor ID. So you have to doctor ID. What's the name? You have to give a doctor ID. This one. Copy it. You have to paste it over here. Right. This one. One. You have to copy this. This name I am going to give as change variable RBN bending. They Right. The second name you have to give as RPN complete. Complete. These two names you have to give up. Right. Right. Okay. Now I am going to explain. So what you are going to do is this button, what is called this function, I am going to put it here. This button, right. Now I will be explaining the code. Right. Now here you can see here, what I did here is, I have created the SQL variable first. Right, SQL variable. After that, we have a, in order to uh, filter data using, populate the data using uh, J table, 
we, there is a model which is a default table model we have to create the object df right after that we have to create the function which is a table the function is open close it here right after that what i did here is here what is the uh, doctor id or selected and searching right so if we, are, if we are going to look at the doctor ids first uh, i'm going to open the mysql work batch right so we have a doctor so we have a uh, what are the doctor's ids right so we will be able to check it right so there are many so many doctor's ids there so we check it road this one bit right Right here, doctor. This is a doctor. D D zero zero D zero zero. Appointment. What is the appointment? Only two doctors. We have to do it. Here, this is the appointment. Right. So true and false. I have to do it. Right. Now, what you are going to do is here. Right. So here, first, what I did here is here first. What is the doctor ID? You are put it here. D zero one mean it will be assigned to this variable. After that, we have a three SQL variable. We have a three different queries we have written. Right, first one should be what is the doctor ID you are entered here? The based on the patient ID, the doctor, the date, time, uh, check state, whether the appointment is completed or still pending. All the details should be we have to view. So how to write the SQL query here? You will be able to observe this. We have to join the two table, which is a patient table and appointment table. Two tables we have to join. So how to join here you can see a dot asterisk mean it is nothing but we have to get uh, the appointment appointment table we have to get all the details so you write there instead of typing your right dot asterisk we have to able to get all the details after that we have p mean is p dot press name mean it's a it is nothing but the patient it is nothing but the patient so patient first name last name we have to get it First name p dot first name p dot last name from appointment appointment name we have to join two tables appointment mean we have a, we have to uh, we have to call the letter a join patient mean we have to call the letter p so patient data we have called with p one we have to set a p right the p appointment we have set as a a so the a a we have all the data if you want to get uh, all the data you have to ask me. if you want to get patient data also all P dot asterisk, right? So join we have to we have we have to join these two tables, right? This table on right we are out to join we have a we have a a because appointment table there is a doctor ID what's the doctor ID you are typing here yeah, appointment table there is a doctor ID the doctor ID right? So after that and the patient table the patient here how to join here this right here, here we have a join appointment table and patient table so how to join so appointment table we have a patient id right patient table we have id this id goes to appointment table which is a foreign key in order to make the relationship that's how we have patient table id appointment table patient ID, right so this how we have joined two tables right in order to get the data Right, so we have what is the doctor ID you are typing based on the result should be displayed. Right? right, so after that, what I did here is we have a two option. So if you are right, the doctor ID just entered search, both both records will be displayed, pending and complete. So I want to get the record only pending. So we have a radio button. At the radio button, we are named it as RPN pin D. If it is selected, if this button it has been selected, here we have read first name, last name, appointment number, doctor. We have a check state true, true and false. We are setting here. You can see here check state true and false. We are setting here. So the true and false record will be displayed. Right? The true, right? If it is false, mean it's still bending. Right here, if it is bending, mean it's false. If it is true, mean the order, the patient appointment has been completed. So we have a two option. This is the efficient way to have right. Okay, so this same thing, doctor ID, we have to check another one. Here only 
we, we have only condition we have checked. Here I have checked two conditions. First the doctor ID along with the check state. Check the state also true or false. If it is false, the based on the re record will be coming from the database. Right? If it is true, based on the record will be coming from the database. That is the two options we have put it here. Right? And we are using and dot. Right? So this is the this how we have works. I don't know this all the source code I provide you. Right. After that, we have to make the database connection. Right. After that, we have to establish the database connection. Uh, the connectivity. After the prepare statement, prepare statement, we have, we have to check the corrects. Okay. Whether if you have only entered the doctor ID only search, the based on the record will be coming. Otherwise, if you have click on this uh, options based on the this SQL core will be working coming here. Right. After that, this one one this is the uh, prepare statement what is the doctor id you entered here this id will be goes to where the doctor id is goes to where this is the question mark it goes to. and check it right it's executed based on the record we'll be getting results at metadata will be the things which is uh, all the data will be put into which is data table so we have data table we have object we have created dc right so we have to write this one do dc right so we have to count all the columns here to create the variables, right? After the while loop. Inside the while loop, we have to create the vector class V2. Right. So what are the columns it is there? It will be one by one, it will be printing. Right? This account ID first uh, patient ID, doctor ID, date and time and checklist. These are the records we have here. It's coming here. Appointment table. Right? So that, that's all things we have to get it here. Right? So the simple stuff we have done it here. Uh, I hope you guys you understood things well. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in time. If you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.